Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. This is Keith here of Euphoria Pitrus, and uh, I've actually had a very uh, decent week of uh, films I got in the post. Uh, one or two little surprises that, uh, again, films that I uh, actually box sets that I kind of uh, let me pass, I kind of passed me by, and um, I eventually actually picked them up and actually got them for quite cheap. One in particular is very very nice and. Uh, and last week I did say that I was going to show off my uh, my German Psycho edition. Uh, this box set is absolutely spectacular. It has everything you'd ever want from a Psycho collection. So uh, I'm very excited to actually show this off now. And uh, I hope you really enjoy it. So uh, yeah, I hope you are all uh, doing well out there. And uh, I hope you are all being safe. And uh, yeah, let's get to it. Okay, so I'm going to start off with my uh, 4K releases that I uh, picked up this week. Uh, I only picked up two, so uh, first up we have uh, Terminator Salvation. Uh, I have to admit now, they actually did a quite a decent uh, job in the transfer on this. The only problem I have with it is they didn't put Dolby Atmos onto it. But luckily enough now, I actually have uh, Samsung's flagship sound bar. I think it's the Q90R, I think it's called. And there's a um, there's a, a surround mode on feature on that. So basically, what it does is it actually activates all the upfiring speakers from the rears and the front, and uh, it gives you a good sense of Atmos on films that are actually not Atmos. So um, it actually sounds still quite incredible. So um, yeah, I, I do like this movie. Um, a lot of people don't like it. Uh, I I love the cast. You know, I thought Christian uh, Christian Bale did a great job with John Connor, uh, but Sam Warrington definitely did steal the show in this movie. I find, but um, I think it's a fun movie, and uh, I would have liked to have seen a sequel to it, but uh, yeah, that's never going to happen now. So yeah, so that's a uh, Terminator Salvation. Good transfer. Uh, up next we have uh, Scary Stories to Tell in the Dark. Very surprised by this movie. Uh, I actually thought this was going to be a silly kind of Nickelodeon kind of movie, but um, when I kind of seen that. Guillermo del Toro actually had something to do with it. I kind of changed my mind on it, and uh, I have to admit, very, very surprised by it. It is a little kind of, you know, it's not like a, an overly gross movie. Well, it's definitely not a gross movie. It is kind of toned down a bit, but um, it's still a very, very fun movie. Uh, very, very, very surprised by it. So uh, I'm going to just show you his insight, and uh, you got the Blu ray, and you got the 4K disc. So um, yeah, if you have not seen this film, Definitely pick it up. It was actually very, very surprising. Uh, great little film. Uh, hopefully do a sequel to it. Um, so up next, we actually have this lovely box set. Uh, chuffed to actually get this. Uh, it's the Tim Burton collection. The only problem with this box set is they put the two Batman movies into it. Now, I, I don't think they needed to put the Batman movies into it. They could have put something else in. But um, but uh, this is a very, very nice box set. It's, uh, the box is very hard. It's very rigged. It's, yeah, it's very strong. And uh, there's the films you get in it, but uh, I'll open it up. You also get a book with it as well, so uh, I'm going to open it up and I will show you what you get inside. So uh, so we'll start with the, there's the two Batman movies. Then you have Mars Attacks and Beetlejuice. Then we have Pee Wee's Big Adventure and Charlie and the Chocolate Factory. And then there's the end of Sweeney Todd and the Corpse of the Bride. So uh, some great movies in there, but like I said, I probably could have done without the... Uh, the, the Batman movies in it because uh, I, I just like I own them movies so many times and yeah but then again I can understand though probably t some of Tim Burton's most known movies so so that's the whole box set there now it also came with uh, a book which I'm going to check out now and I'll show you uh, just put this aside so this is the book uh, voila it's actually a nice book as well and uh, I'll just read the back of it as well and then I'll we'll just kind of glimpse through it and show you what's in it. I say it's just about, it's basically about each film, the making of it probably. Sweeney Todd, Charlie. Um, then we have, this is the corpse, no, that's not, what's that? Yeah, it is the corpse of Bride. Um, Mars Attacks, funny film there. Uh, then of course, Batman's. Again, very, very impressive box uh, Got it for quite cheap. I think it was only around 20, 25 euro or something like that. It was very, very cheap. So, um, yeah, that is the Tim Burton collection. Uh, look forward to seeing a few of them. Uh, so up next, this is now an absolute. I'm delighted to get this. I'm going to move this easel at the side, and it is the Monster Collection, uh, Universal's Monster Collection. Um, it has the all the kind of rare, uh, sorry, all uh, the old classic um, 
monster movies. So I, I'm just gonna come to this lovely kind of coffin. But uh, I will just turn it around and I'll show you all the side situation. That's basically everything you get in it. You get a pile of postcards of uh, each cover of the f each film you get with it. So yeah, so that's the side there. And I will open it up and uh, we can have a look and see what's inside. Just be careful that I don't want to do any damage. So this comes off here, the lid. I hope it does. There we go. So inside we have the box that just slips out here. Like so. Now, I'll just throw that oh, up the side. There we go. So, well, uh, this is the box set that came in uh, that was inside the coffin. So, uh, I'll just show you the spine of it as well. And then you have the, the back. So, I'll open it up first before I throw the postcards. And there's also a little booklet with it. So, I'm just going to chuck it to the side there. Whoops. So, here we go. So you got Dracula there. Uh, I think there might be Frankenstein in the back. The Mummy, the Invisible Man. No, that's Frankenstein. Oh, we got one at the back. Okay, I'll take the disc out. Oh, I actually don't know which one that one is at the back. I'll have a look in there in a second. Yeah, you got the Wolfman anyway. You got Frankenstein there. Uh, I think that's Phantom of the Opera and the Creature from the Black Lagoon. The Creature from the Black Lagoon is in 3D as well, that film. So, uh, uh, it's a nice little addition that as well, so uh, it's going to be fun to check out some of these films. Uh, and I'm going to show you the back of it. It's actually very nice, very nice addition. This. So voila. So that's the box itself. So I'll show you the um, what you get inside. Uh, just put this here. Then you get a couple of postcards and you got uh, a little booklet as well. So. Uh, so I'll show you the booklet first. So it's the original House of Horrors. And then I'll just kind of scoot through it. That's the Creature in the Black Lagoon. Phantom of the Opera, Wolfman. Oh, it's the Bride of Frankenstein. I think that disc I couldn't think of. But uh, yeah. yeah. It just kind of gives you the history of the films and that. So, so that's the book. Uh, then. Again, yeah, it's just a little York Centennial, every, everything that's actually in the movie. Uh, so, yeah. And then you got the the postcards. Uh, there's nothing in the back. So, so you got Dracula, Frankenstein, uh, Phantom of the Opera, Bride of Frankenstein, The Invisible Man, uh, The Mummy, uh, The Wolfman, and creature from the black again so yeah that is the universal monster collection very nice addition to get uh very very happy to actually have that for my collection so let me just move this out of the way and up last now we have the psycho box set so here we go this is a monster of a box set so there it is it's in all its glory again the cover is absolutely stunning uh, some incredible art book and that's the spine of it there and then we're in the back here again this is all it's a it's a German box set so um so you get the four uh psycho movies then you have uh no you get the four psychos then you get the the uncut version of psycho then you get the absolute god awful remake and then you have psycho legacy uh then Bates Motel and 90 and 78 to 52 i don't know what that is now but uh i've only checked out a few of the discs on this so um so yeah let's open this bad boy and uh let's see what's inside so off she comes put that to the side so this is a certificate of authenticity uh, inside i have 3173 of 3636 so uh, Dennis has this nice kind of welcome to uh, welcome. What's it welcome in California? Bates Motel. So uh, yeah, so very limited this. So I'll put this aside and see what we have first. Uh, we have the hotel register book. We do. Uh, I don't think is there anything. Let's see. 
it's like I said, it's so big. This is just hard to get in frame. But uh, again, it's the only annoying thing is this is all in German, so uh, again, can't read much into it. So, but uh, yeah, it's just I'm gonna just kind of bounce through it. Uh, but there's there is some nice artwork in it as well. But uh, this is an actual proper book. It's real, real. It's a hard copy. And uh, that's an interesting cover there. Um, it must be the TV show. Is it oh, the Bates Motel? Yeah, it is. The TV show. I've never seen that TV show. Uh, it's not the newest ones now. Just don't get that mistaken. It's the back in the 80s. They've done a TV show of it. So, uh, yes, and, and then they've done a terrible remake. So uh, that's the book anyway. I'm just going to, uh, like I said, just glance through it quite quickly. So that's the hardback book. Uh, again, it's so such a nice, nice, nice addition. So I'll just throw that to the back, and then what else have we got in here? Well, what we have posters. Well, I'm going to leave the posters to the end because they are absolutely massive. But uh, you have a "Do Not Disturb" sign, base motel. Uh, stop at the desk. So uh, nice little little thing now. Uh, then we have a few postcards. And uh, we'll see what, what's in these. It's the house, of course, generally. Sorry about the glare there on these pictures. Can't be helped. Great picture. Well, some nice pictures in these. So, um, yeah, that's the... Uh, just a few couple of postcards you get with it. So, uh, that's the postcards. I'll throw that to a side. Then, up next, we have... I'm not quite sure what this is. It looks just like a pad, a notepad you just scribble on or something like that. So, kind of you'd see it in the desk or something like that. So, yeah. So, again, nothing to it, but uh, it's nice to have it anyway, all the same. So, put that aside. Then we also have, I think it's a letter here. Letter, uh, Sam Loomis Harbour. Um, I'll leave that on there if you want to read it yourself. So, oddly enough, this is not in German, so uh, I'll just leave that there and uh, you can have a quick read out there as well. You can even pause it. So, and then this is something Jewish, I think it's Ted Marion. Can't quite make it out, but uh, it's just a couple of letters, it must be from the f uh, film cycle. So, so yeah. A couple of letters there. So then we have it's yeah, I think you actually have a poster for every film. So I'm gonna just take the posters aside and see if I can actually open these up to show you. So we will start with what have we got first here? We've got Psycho 3. And these are big posters. Uh, like I said, very, very big posters. And I really were not messing around with this set. It's absolutely incredible. So that's cycle three. Then we have which one is this one there? It's the original cycle. Again, sorry, big folks. I again the posters are that big. I just I just can't get them into frame from where I'm sitting. So, but uh, yeah, this is cycle. Then we have Psycho 4. I'm not a big fan of this movie. I didn't like it at all. Um, yeah, Psycho 4. Then we have Psycho 2 here. Like I said, this collection is just uh, everything you want from Psycho is just in this box. It's just incredible. But, uh, I'll just all the original posters. So, yeah, that's Psycho two. Now we have another poster with it. Now this is absolutely massive. I don't even know if I can get this in. This is even bigger again. But. Uh, open it up as best as I can folks and see what you can see but um it's absolutely huge 
but it's basically Anthony Perkins and the uh, the big arrow behind them. But uh, that's basically it in a nutshell. So that poster is massive. It is. But um, again, I should have maybe. Maybe maybe someday I will do a better uh, look at them posters uh, so you can get a good look. So um, so up next then we have the the films. Uh, so we'll start with the left side here. Let's see what we've got. So uh, I'll show you actually the covers first. So uh, we've got spine as well. These are the films then. Uh, so I got one, two, three, and four. So I'll open it up and. Uh, was inside some lovely artwork in these as well but uh these are the discs and then the back again the artwork on these it's just it is absolutely fantastic they really went all out in this box set so so that is the movies uh i'll just put them away and oh sorry about that knocking the camera like i always do and then we'll take out the next sesh so it's this is a cover of it uh, and then the back again I'm not sure what that 7852 is after actually looking into that one uh, I don't have a chance to so show you these then so here we go we've got the that's Psycho Uncosh the uh, Uncut Edition over here then you have Psycho uh, the 1998 version uh, Bates Motel and Psycho Legacy and then that's 7852 so I need to look into that a bit more as well like I said so um, I'll show you then the artwork in this some incredible stuff so that is the complete Psycho collection um, I don't even know I think this might be out of print now uh, but if you are if you, if you can get it it would be on Amazon Germany uh, but you will pay a price for um I even like even when I bought it now it was going for around I think it was 140 euro I paid for it so uh, it was quite expensive so um yeah so that's everything I have for this week um I think next week I might go back to uh, pure off another one of my uh, busts from my collection and of course I do have another one or two movies coming in um I actually ordered knives out like a month ago uh and i still haven't received it uh i've been emailing people uh the, the person i bought it off i've been emailing them trying to find out what's going on but i like they wouldn't email me back so so i actually don't know what's going on with that and uh yeah i've just have a couple other things in the post uh, a couple of uh kind of new 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 releases so uh so yeah that's everything for the week so yeah if you did like this video please uh give us a thumbs up and of course leave a comment and uh please please subscribe i really do appreciate it um it's massively appreciated so um yeah that's for everything for the week and uh i hope you're all staying safe and uh take care of yourselves so um yeah see you next week so good luck bye bye